inside of thrift stores. Oh, oh. It fell. But uh, yeah. Let's go over today. Did have some luck uh, thrifting, but I'm going to show a lot I picked up. This is the same guy I've been buying a lot of stuff from. Uh, the PS1 lot and a lot of the other stuff in the videos I've been buying off him. I paid 100 for everything today. I uh, have Aladdin, Battletech, Land Stalker, which is decent. It's like 30 35 We've got Spider-Man, Sonic the Hedgehog. We have Pitfall. We have Street Fighter 2. And we have Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. So, not too bad there. Then we have a Super Nintendo with no power cord, no EV. Does look pretty decent, though. A little wipe down will look good. A Super Nintendo controller. We have Batman Beyond Return of the Joker. We have the Kinect in the box. Minecraft, a series of Fortune Invention Quidditch, and Minecraft Story Mode. And then the PS4 games, Destroy All Humans, Heavy Rain, and Beyond Two Souls Collection, Far Cry Primal, Jumanji, Shadow of War. Cyberpunk, Evil Within, Resident Evil 3, Dining Lake, God of War, The Walking Dead, The Definitive Telltale Series, which that's cool because it's got it all in one. Until Dawn, Detroit Become Human, which I absolutely love that game, guys. If you're okay with the Telltale games, like not a ton of action, that's one of the best storylines I've played on PS4. Uh, Call of Duty World War II, Last of Us Remastered, Un uh, Uncharted, The Nathan Drake Collection, and Last of Us Part Two. So, that's a lot. What do you think, Maxwell? And then at Thrifts, didn't grab a ton. I showed you the games I tried to get, but I couldn't get. Let's see what's in there. I got a PS2 controller. Uh, really clean looking. It is $7.99. <laughs> These go for like $20.25 now on eBay. So, okay. And then got a PS3 controller. Really clean also. $16.99 goes for about $30. And then two Blu-rays. Paid $2.99. Cujo goes for $10 to $15. So, not too bad. What do you think, Max? What do you think? What's your opinion? Yeah, great opinion. Stay tuned, guys. All right, guys. A little bit of a random clip here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and shout out a channel I've been watching a lot lately. Uh, it's got good content. He's kind of new, but it's up and coming. Go check out Beans and Buttons if you haven't. I know it's a weird name. Uh, ask him why he has it. I haven't asked him myself. Uh, but he does video game hunting just like I do. And honestly, I enjoy the channel. Um, enjoy the content. He's a good creator and knows his stuff. So just want to shout out a channel that I've been enjoying lately. Um, just to, because I, I know I like looking and finding channels just myself. Uh, if you know any other smaller channels, go ahead and put them in the comments. Or if you guys have channels where you post content too, just put it in the content com comments, guys. Just go ahead and get you some free, free shout outs. And I try to, I haven't done it in a while, but I try to shout out every now and then some smaller channels I've been watching. I'm not a big channel, but I like to try to help out whenever I can. So if you haven't watched Beans and Buttons, go ahead and check him out. But uh, that's it for now, guys. Stay tuned. All right, guys. I bought a GameCube lot. It's a GameCube, all the cords, two controllers, and a memory card, and Smash Bros. I paid 50 bucks. On the way back, I stopped and sold the GameCube and controllers to Fleet Market Fleet Alston because he needed some for the shop. I dropped off the memory card to a buddy I sold a GameCube from. I just let him have it, and I'll keep this and pocket 10 bucks. Smash Bros. Melee, it is a clean copy, complete box copy, so nice little pickup there. Put 10 bucks in my pocket and get to keep that, so always nice day in that situation. Stay tuned for more, guys. All right, guys, just picked up a lot. I uh, paid 55 for everything. Have Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories, that is missing manual. Crash Bandicoot, the case is in rough shape for a lot of these, and the discs are in iffy shape, but hey... But most of them work. It works out good. Spyro of the Dragon. We have Spyro Ripto's Rage. Mission front cover and manual. CTR complete. Then we have Spyro of the Dragon. Mission front cover. But I can swap it out with like a sports title and offset that. And then we have a Teal Game Boy Color. Which if you remember in a past video I picked up a, a box and manual for a Teal Game Boy Color. So I'll put this in it. Uh, it does have a copy of Tetris in it. It's got the back on it. Uh, not mint shape, but not bad. It's good enough for now. I'll put it in the box and I'll upgrade it later. But for 55 bucks, I mean, this I'm working, this is parts goes for about 50 all day. So really good lot there. So stay tuned for more guys.
All right, guys, another long day of thrift in the books. Show you what I got. First non video game related. Uh, Burger King a few years ago in 2007 did a Kings of Cincinnati bobblehead set. It has four bobbleheads Shane Graham, Chad Johnson. Oh, oh sorry, Shane Graham, Chad Johnson, TJ Schmanzada, and Carson Palmer. When you take them out of the box, they fit perfectly on here. And there's a little football that goes on here and it displays it all. Uh, Compton's final line were like 50 bucks down the boxes. So the stand was $3. And the bobbleheads were five a piece, so and I just need the football to complete it. I am a big Cincinnati Bengals fan, so I'll be keeping that. Uh, thrift store pickups picked up Modern Warfare 2 on Xbox. Uh, paid 15. This will go for 35 to 40 in that range. Picked this up for 20 bucks. It is a Pikachu wireless compatible controller, uh, wireless switch controller. Now I will keep this since I said the box. And I'm going to sell that gold one I got from Austin. Uh, I don't really need one wireless one, so I'll sell that gold one. Recoup some money back uh, there. And then at St. Vincent de Paul, their, salt, their paper, uh, salt back, paperback books for 50 cents. I grabbed all these Goosebumps books. Uh, if I have them, most of them will probably be upgrades because these are really clean. And the ones I do have, I'll go ahead and lock together to make my money back there. So I figured I'd pick them all up because 50 cents a piece, that's a, a good price in general. Next, stop tearing up the carpet, silly. Tease, fluffy. I picked up some PS4 games there. Uh, Naruto to Baruto Shinobi Strikers. It was five bucks. I think this one was like 13. Uh, Predator Hunting Grounds for five. It's worth like 12. Uh, Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm 4 Red to Boruto was six. I think this one was like 15. This is the one I'll be selling to recoup here. Demon Slayers, the Hinokami Chronicles. I uh, paid 10. This is worth like 25. I don't care about Demon Slayer. And then Sword Art Online, paid five, it's worth like 11 or 12. So nice little thrifting day. Uh, I'll end up keeping the some of the Goosebumps, Bangle Set, and some PS4 games. Sell the uh, other gold controller that's worth more than that. So this and the Demon Slayer and Be in the Profit. So pretty nice. Stay tuned for the